Well, as we continue our discussion here with uh, the Chairman of Cricket Council, USC, Mohamed Parishi, uh, you know, I want to involve him with minor league, yeah, where a number of West Indians have come across and they're taking part in the minor league. Um, he is also an investor in the minor league, and uh, that is with the Florida Beamers and, of course, the Chicago Catchers. Um, Mark, what has been your experience in this minor league? We're just two weeks into it. What has been the experience so far? Yeah, it's a delivery program for the USA and um, the minor league. It's uh, giving them opportunity to some players. They never got the opportunity. And then uh, we have to be um, promoting cricket in USA. Something else come up, step up, uh, minor league. And there was a local league, has been playing a lot of local leagues here. So it's kind of um, like uh, social media and live telecastings. Uh, good exposure for the players. Some of the players never get a chance to become on the screen and they can see it. So it's a talent. Uh, you can find some talents there and opportunity for them. Also, they have it uh, to uh, give them performance and uh, come at the eye side for all the international skills. players. And uh, in addition to all the West Indians, there are some talented American cricketers here. So let's get back to the West Indians. You have players like Nevin Stewart, uh, who normally plays this trade across here. Uh, Xavier Marshall, who would have played for the West Indies, he's playing for America right now. I saw Gajanan Singh, Darren Davis, um, all these guys are here playing and developing. But there are some excellent uh, local cricketers as well. Mohamed Ali Khan, everyone knows about him in Trinidad. He is playing in Houston. But right here in Florida, we have uh, players like uh, Zishon Qureshi, who is looking to, um, you know, make a way for himself. Very talented batsman. Uh, tell us a bit about him, Mark, um, with Zishon also being your son. Uh, tell us a bit about his uh, cricket and uh, what, how could he benefit from this minor league? Yeah, he's um, actually playing uh, only U.S. Open as usual. And he played uh, go overseas uh, country, played it in England. Um, but he is a local league so minor league will gonna be affecting him is going to travel in different states and uh, seeing different uh, teams to be play with them and uh, catch eye for other um, um, players and selectors and all other things. They can see the talented, what he had. So it's opportunity for him uh, to play more cricket. That's all it is, more cricket been playing is not, we don't have enough cricket in USA. So now it's coming back now. So more tournaments coming up and like minor league and uh, weekend crickets and all. So it's a great opportunity for all the players. Well, we know a lot about US Open. That's a brand. That's a brand that is going to go into its 13th year this year. Um, so the biggest cricketers have come to this part of the world because of the US Open. Now you have minor league. A good minor league assist by providing players for the US Open. Yeah, so what happened here, we have uh, Zishan Qureshi on a few teams, uh, Chicago Catchers and uh, uh, Florida Beamer. And he's a leading as a captain for last uh, several years for the US All-Star teams. So many other uh, teams, Somerset, Atlanta Premiers and uh, Atlanta Fires, and uh, there's a uh, 22 yard. There are a lot of teams who's playing in US Open they're playing in minor league also so they can find some talented players can join this coming on the US Open also so basically I used to does run uh, last uh, 15 years run a lot of tournaments for different different city and different state New York uh, Chicago and uh, many other kinds because there was not enough cricket in USA so we spending a lot of time and effort to putting the tournament because the it was the organization was not there, proper organization not been set up. So now they're helping me lots now being uh, minor leagues and all. So I don't have to spend my time and money more for do the local tournaments and concentrate on US Open as, as a branding tournament for the worldwide right now. They can see it, everybody catch eyes for US Open they want to play. So it's gonna be benefit for us uh, to bring some minor league uh, players, uh, can show them talent, and we have all the score sheets and all can see that. And we can see some uh, good talents that can join in US Open. And uh, speaking about money, is it true that you would have spent close to $30 million out of your own pocket 
to develop cricket in America? Yeah, there is no infrastructure for last uh, 20 years. And there was two years ago, I think the new organization came back and ICC section. I've been supporting them for last 20 years and like 21 years been supporting the USA cricket development program. I remember I started with a team like four teams there, there, not much any tournaments and none of them those. So we started since uh, last 21 years and I've been spending money as a uh, cricket is the most expensive games. Uh, the next uh, like it's just soccer soccer have only one ball to play with mm. cricket have all the equipment and grounds and preparations and wickets it's a lot of efforts to produce one game so we've been doing this thing up and spending the money on every year millions of dollars we spend it our company and cricket council is a private organization been running for last 21 years and uh, as the oldest organization that people trust on those. And this organization is only promoting cricket in USA in the last 21 years. And that will be branded tournament they came up, the US Open, because our goal was US Open, just like tennis US Open and uh, golf US Open. So this is like American uh, games. And they're recognizing actually every single board is recognizing this thing of ICC been sanctioning for the last uh, uh, eight years now, nine years actually is coming out. So we've always been pleasure uh, to approve. And this is the only tournament been carry on for your sacred good life. And uh, you're watching Monday Night Cricket. When we, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, I'm going to introduce you to the man who is responsible for the arrival of Muhammad Ali Khan. Right. Uh, you can leave it as one clip. We just start one time. But welcome back to Monday Night Cricket. And I'm in the company of uh, Mohammed Qureshi, better known as Mark. And uh, he is here in the Boca in Fort Lauderdale. We're actually at the Boca Palace, which is where he lives. And, uh, you know, he's giving us an insight. He, being Pakistani, he has lived in America for decades. So he's American more than anything else. But he has done so much to help West Indian cricket that uh, I'm sure a number of people would want to know why. I think the biggest gift, in addition to US Open, he has given a gift to West Indies cricket by allowing some of our players to come here and uh, you know to earn decent money uh, during that uh, December period when he hosts the US Open. In addition to that, some of the biggest stars in the West Indies have come across here. They have benefited from the US Open, Chris Gale being one. Last year, he presented a gift to Chris Gale of land in Disney. Now, everyone wants to go to Disney. This gentleman next to me, he gave Chris Gale and Ali Khan land across there. But tell us a bit about that, Mark. Yes, um, Ali Khan is good, talented players. And then um, as, as you um, go back to the how the U.S. Open impacting in the U.S. Uh, this is the only tournament in USA the all Caribbean uh, players, they come and join in playing. And to, especially to know that our team's been champion for la, three times conservatively mm -hmm. every year. They've been champion 2011, 12, 13. So they've been champion for every single year. So they got popular art because there's the only tournament they all the players coming to play in USA, US Open. So that's the US Open brands carry on and there was an uh, Caribbean to internationally, a lot of players, they're recognizing this the tournament, have faith for it and they have recognition for it. So that Ali Khan produced from the US Open. That's how well, they came take, in. Take our viewers back, back to Ali Khan. I mean, I know the story, I would have heard Ali said the story to me that you know he came across uh, US Open as a chubby little kid. And he told Mark, I wanted to play U.S. Open and uh, tell us that story, Mark. No, he's, uh, he's called me from the Ohio where he was living in Ohio. Um, he said he wanted to play cricket and he's been playing back home in Pakistan. He said, we have U.S. Open, come in here, try out. Is a gentleman a passionately cricket and uh, he's a talented player. He believes himself, he's a good cricketer. So he pays his own expense mm. and came to play our games and uh, we're sitting there and uh, actually in um, our grounds and uh, taking interview how you play in the ballings and all. I seen the two talents, him, 
So he said, God blessing people. They hired one of the talents in America who was migrated from Pakistan. So I think that was the, one of the talents he had. He had the good uh, focus and aim and his dreams. Like he wanted to play international skin cricket. And then once um, he got playing US Open, uh, catch eye on him is a great talent good pace and his ball is skidding like if you've seen him on his ball is skid in the wicket so as you could yorker is uh can place uh so we had a tournament a uh, few years back as a brawl brother came into play in the u.s open he saw this ali was been playing uh the bowling is a great bowling uh startup so he invited him to uh, come to play gt20 and that's basically talents came up from him and he did a good performance and he got practicing in and he got uh, one of the good star for actually we proud for him for the USA. And then also same thing, we had many USA players, all they came in US Open, has been play performance, that's the way recognizing by them is one Chima from Canada players and also recognizing in US Open. So is uh, many other uh, Tariq Hamza, Tariq, Zishan Qureshi recognizing uh, last year, if you look at Zishan Qureshi, he'd been playing for um, a U.S. All-Star as a captain. And he saw that thing up. He took uh, three wickets, mm-hmm. most uh, Andre Russell's and all. He was very proud. So people recognizing his by names as a good baller sent down. So that's what we wanted. And then he recognized it. Well, right. Even here, the call came from him to play for Multan Sultan team in Pakistan. Uh, and also, and uh, we have T10 tournaments in my, but thing is, is in college students. And he have to finish his college first before he can travel all this thing up. So now he's ready the last year in college. And then he's uh, willing to play. So he leading the Beamer cricket uh, teams uh, for minor league as a captain. Mm-hmm. And we'll see in uh, US Open is coming back for his, uh, his teams playing. So that's, that's the thing the US Open can bring a lot of talents to international scale. Well, we're seeing that. We're seeing that happening. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we continue our conversation with Mohammed Qureshi as we look ahead to what's coming up.